guys so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a new link locker uh, link locker is basically a tool that we host on AdGate Media and the reason it's so powerful is because you don't need uh, a domain or hosting or anything to use it you can basically go to your favorite free or paid traffic source and just link directly to the locker and start making money from it so to start off, you click lockers on the left hand side, then you click link lockers. Uh, I don't have any link lockers on this account yet, so I'm going to click here and make a new one. So I'm going to be promoting a recipe ebook. So what I'm going to do is in the name, I'm going to type recipe ebook. This name is just for me, so I can uh, later come back and edit this locker. Uh, the next thing is page title. This is what's going to appear on the top of the browser for the user. So I'm going to write here download uh, recipe ebook. And then the next thing is number of offers. And this is basically the number of choices the user will have uh, to complete. So the more the better, I would say. Uh, basically, this way the user will be presented with more choices and they can select their favorite campaign and complete it. So I'm going to st stick with five for that one. The next thing is unlock time. And this is basically if the user comes back and visits this page again, uh, how long do you want them to have access to whatever it is you're locking? So in this case, I'm going to leave it at 48 hours. So if a user completes an offer and then they lose their link for some reason, they can come back within two days and download my ebook again. And then the next option is auto add offers. Uh, this option also exists on our gateways and I always recommend people to leave it on the default option which is automatically allow new offers. And if you scroll down a little you can see the preview of the link locker. Uh, this page is very basic and the reason we provide this page um, as the default page is because a lot of people want to edit their lockers and really customize it so uh, this is the easiest to customize but I'm not really going to be doing too many customizations today so I'm going to choose one of our other pre-made designs so here are all the designs we offer and if you click them you can uh, take a look below what they look like so there's, there's a bunch some of them have more options uh, for easier editing but I'm going to choose the lock it download one because I think this one looks nice and I think it fits in really well with uh, the product I'm promoting so for this one the options I have are download button text uh, so that's going to change what this button right here says and I'm just going to make it say download recipe ebook so you're going to see this changes to download recipe ebook uh, the next thing is URL to lock and this is basically where does the user go after they uh, reach your locker and complete an offer. So what I would recommend is if you are, have some sort of download you should use your favorite um, download hosting company. You can use Dropbox, Mediafire, whatever you like. Uh, obviously if you have some sort of other content to lock you should just redirect it there. So in this case, I'm just going to put Mediafire. I didn't actually upload the ebook anywhere, so I'm just going to put a bunch of gibberish here for now as an example. Uh, another option is file name. This again, this is just for appearances. So where's this file name .zip? I'm going to write uh, recipe ebook by Dan dot uh, And this right here is an option for what the user will see if there's no offers available in uh, their region or for their device. And this is something that happens very rarely since we do have a large offer selection that covers pretty much every country in the world. Uh, this will most likely come up if you decide to maybe disable some offers. Um, but the default message is pretty good so I'm just going to leave it as is. If you go to the advanced tab this is where you can really start messing around if you want to do some customization. Uh, we give you complete access to the CSS and the HTML so if you want to basically completely tear this page up and just make it look however you want. You can add in your own uh, JavaScript also. Uh, you can do that right here. I'm not going to do any of that today. 
Uh, so I'm just going to head over to the last tab, which is mobile. And you have the option of enabling or disabling our mobile features. Uh, I always recommend to keep them unless you have some sort of custom design that's mobile optimized. And basically what this does is it displays a uh, different landing page. It doesn't look like this. And that landing page uh, is specific for mobile users. And it really helps conversions. So I highly recommend leaving it. Uh, the mobile title is the title that will, again, appear on the top of the browser. So I'll just write recipe ebook. And the mobile instructions, it will just instruct the user on what they need to do and what they'll get for doing it. So again, I'll leave that at the default. So when you're done making all your changes, you can click Save Link Locker, and you get taken back to the main Link Locker page. And from here, it's very simple. Uh, this is the URL you use, and this is the URL you can share. So basically, if I just copy this, open a new page, and I'm taken to my Link Locker page, and I can go ahead and I can complete the locker and unlock the content. So you also have the option of choosing different domains for um, for the link locker. Uh, the default is this one, adbond.us. There's a whole bunch of them. And if you think one may work better for you than another one, you can use that. You also have the option of adding sub IDs for uh, tracking. So if you have let's say different Facebook ads that you're uh, using to to send uh, traffic to this link locker. You can add them in uh, like this by just appending a uh, question mark, S1 equals your sub, and if you want more sub IDs, you can do S2, S3, and so forth. And that's it.